And now coming to the blue corner from Japan, Yuzuki Fujimoto. from Morocco, Badir Hari! Now entering the ring, coming from the Red Gate, Talent, he's a big talent. Enormous talent. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please Bruce stand Buffer. and show your respect as we play the Japanese national. Continue standing as we play the Moroccan National Anthem. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special announcement by FEG Incorporates CEO, Mr. Sadaharu Tanikawa. K1 World Heavyweight Title Match. We would like to announce K1 World Heavyweight Title Match to take place between Yusuke Fujimoto and Batari. The two fighters have passed they are K1 official medical exams and are now officially sanctioned for this title match. April 28, 2007, President of FEG, Sadaharu Tanikawa. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the first ever 2007 Fields K-1 Heavyweight World Championship, consisting of three three-minute rounds under K-1 rules. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red with white, he holds a professional record of 23 wins with 11 wins by way of knockout 12 losses and one no contest. He stands 178 centimeters tall, weighing in at 97.1 kilos, 215 pounds. Fighting out of Japan, he is the K-1 World Grand Prix 2006 in Seoul champion, Yusuke Fujimoto. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black, he holds a professional record of 60 wins, with 49 wins by way of knockout, five losses, and one draw. He stands 197 centimeters tall, weighing in at 96.8 kilos, 215 pounds. Fighting out of Morocco, Badir Hari! sides of the card here for both Bada Hari and Yusuke Fujimoto. This for the newly created K1 under 100 kilo heavyweight world title. The brilliant, the, the, the sublime, the man capable of off breathtaking techniques. Bada Hari, the bad boy, who towers over Fujimoto here by some seven inches. And Fujimoto, the Japanese cannon, will be hoping to land a shot what is perhaps the comfortable draw of Butter Hurry? Here we go, of three, the voice Michael Chevello, Sugar Ray, Seppo, and Ernesto Hurst with your inside from Honolulu. Butter Hurry will use his reach, long ranging arms, long ranging legs, and has a lot of power in his kicks. Steve his punches. Uh, there are a few things to 
nice quick jab and uh, what a straight up a stiff jab walk right into it. Fujimoto, a little bit tentative now. But a hurry, right left round kick, looking for the decapitator, the headache maker. Outside thigh kick from Hari. He will be crowned the K1 under 100 kilos heavyweight champion. <laughs> Just like that, I missed that boost. Yeah, I'm impressed. I mean, uh, he did very well, uh, either in attacking and in the counter. So, uh, well, we told you this kid was capable of the stunning, the sublime, the breathtaking techniques in knockouts, and he's done it once again. But a hurry becomes the first ever K1 under 100 kilo heavyweight champion of the world. I mean, I'm very happy for Badahari, you know, he's a very young talent, like we said earlier, he's um, very marketable, he's very flamboyant, the great thing about him, he can fight, he does have, you know, sometimes he talks a little bit too much, but, you know, he shows in the ring that he's capable of doing, backing it up, hopefully now, you know, now he's going to decide where his career is going to go, whether he's going to be a people's champion or, you know, this guy who is, has a lot to or say. A bad boy. So, <laughs> well, yeah, or a bad boy. <laughs> But, uh, you know, a lot of people always like, the, you know, a people champion. And I know that, you know, I've talked to the guy in the backstage, and he's a really actually a nice guy, you know, and uh, hopefully he'll come through with that, you know. Well, I call him the John McEnroe of K1. The brilliant bad boy that is but a hurry, and he's just won his Wimbledon. He has knocked out Yosuke Fujimoto with a vicious KKO. Fujimoto was out before he splashed to the canvas like a painting. And that is Butter Hari at his most vicious and delicious best. Jubilation, Melvin Manhoff and Mike from Mike's chin in the corner. Hari is receiving a standing ovation here. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I then wish to introduce you to FEG Incorporated CEO, Mr. Sanaharu Tanikawa. に出場、ファブリオ。綺麗な2007年4月28日、K1ワールドグランプリ2007実行委員会。コングラチュレーション。Let's have a big hand for the first ever heel K1 champion, Declaring Badahari officially as the K1 under 100 kilo world heavyweight champion. I mean, uh, I'm going to have to uh, double check on this, but I have a feeling that the winner out of Glove and uh, Remy, which now is Remy, get the, op the, the, the opportunity to fight for the title next. Well, a dream matchup right there, a marquee matchup, Remy versus Badahari. Yeah, I guess that uh, Remy's a little bit too heavy. I don't think he can uh, come on with 100 kilo that easy. Either way, also Badahari, the night belongs to him. The beautiful heavyweight strap is placed around the way. Will it be a long reign? Will it be a short reign? Either way, Badahari is the first ever, and no one can take that away from him. He's had a fantastic career. I mean, you know, he came out, he showed he's got talent, he showed, uh, every, he showed the world that uh, he belongs in, in that ring, the K1 arena, and tonight he's the uh, heavyweight champion of K1. First ever, and you know, he's got to be really proud of himself, you know, uh, not only himself, but also his team, who's obviously done a tremendous work with him, and uh, who, you know, uh, came up with the results. And 
Ray, at only 22 years old, you've got to ask yourself, what's the, the sky really is the limit for this young fighter? At 22, to have such enormous talent. Absolutely. I mean, you know, he is from... even born when I, when I started fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, he's originally from Morocco, but he's been, you know, his whole career has been, uh, he's been fighting out of Holland. I don't know what these guys eat over there. I want some. <laughs> <laughs> Now there it is. I told you, you have to come to home. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and here, the first ever K1 World Heavyweight Under 100 Kilo Champion, the bad boy.